Here we are arriving at the nursing school of Niyankundi and it is my delight to give you a few memories of uh, Dr. Helen Rosevere, who was my friend and mentor for 49 years. In the summer of 1968 I was working at Mango Hospital in Kampala but came here for four days and at that point Helen was just putting the um, in the foundation for this lovely building and um, so we I was able to see it in the beginning and I uh, had lunch with her and asked her if I could come back two years later for a couple of months and she said well of course nobody ever comes to visit so I came back in 1970 for two months and the building was up and it was in use and I was particularly attracted to the fact that she was training young men who would go out to many village areas where there was no medical care at all, although traditional medicine that was sometimes ineffective and sometimes fatal. They were being trained in French, which I had loved in high school and was using for my Bible reading then and now. And um, it was interdenominational, inter many communities together. So I was really attracted to it and was delighted to come back in 1970. But the special thing was that when Philip and I were married, here he is, Here's Philip. Um, in 1973, well, we were married in 72, but in 73 we came here and Helen gave us five fabulous weeks of orientation. Oh, she told, well, first of all, love Jesus with all your heart and soul and mind and your neighbor as yourself. But also she um, introduced Philip to being the new director of the nursing college. And who do we have here? This is Duabo. Duabo is the current prefect, director? Director director of the uh, nursing school of Niyankundi yeah. and they have 92 students this year yeah. in five options so Helen's legacy carries on and uh, we're very thankful for that. The story continues out of the students who were taught at the nursing school of Niyankundi 11 of the graduates have sent nine of their children to medical school to become doctors and of those four have specialized in surgery and obstetrics and gynecology and chest diseases and are now working in this northeast part of Congo um, as practically the only specialists that are here. And the nursing school of Niyankundi inspired lots of further education and especially Dr. Joe Lucy wanted to formed the nursing college of Niyankundi for high school graduates and it was took in its first students in 1994 first graduates in 1997 that college has now granted a thousand and eighty seven diplomas in ten options we were disrupted by the uh, ethnic war in 2002 and uh, walked some walked some of us flew to Owicha, where we lived for four years and we reconstituted the nursing college there. But in 2007, it was moved here to Bunya. And let me just fast forward to say that um, one of the graduates of the Niyankundi School was inspired to go on for his master's and his PhD in the epidemiology of AIDS. And Dr. Carreri is now the director of the ESTEM of Niyankundi in Bunya and I'm here on the campus and I want you to see behind me um, one of the new buildings. It's 12 classrooms for 30 students each put up a couple of years ago. And then over behind me I'll turn this way so you can see the uh, one of the amphitheaters. Maybe I should walk that way because these amphitheaters seat two to three hundred students and are really quite special. There are two of them now and Dr. Kireri has been able to um, request funds from Bread for the World in Germany and they will be providing the funds this year to put up another amphitheater, another block of classrooms and a block of offices so that each uh, section of the college, each of the ten options well, there will be someone in charge of that option with an office. It is exciting to see this go ahead. Let me just turn this around, but the sun is in the wrong position. 
but um, I'll just get into the shade and then you can see um, there are these two buildings lovely buildings um, and a, a balcony between them let me just see if the door is open and we'll go in yes there may not be enough light oh but there is so that you can see the um, obviously the bright light from the far side but these um, amphitheaters are quite special and you can even see down here that they are all wired so that uh, when we get the right electrical power it will be possible to uh, plug in your computer and make notes while the speaker is lecturing. So Helen inspired us in a wonderful way to invest in the lives of the young people of Congo and see them get on to uh, higher education and make a contribution to their country. As I said, there are so far 1,087 graduates of the ESTEM in the past 20 years. And um, actually, it's 19 years only, 20 years this year. So, Helen, and one of the important things I want to mention is that she used to write to us regularly, and she promised that she would pray for us every day. And I believe she did. And um, so it was very special to uh, have her as a friend and mentor. Yes, I've read all her books, and I've given them many copies away to other people. And um, so I share with you my thanks, my uh, warm wishes today as you share together the blessings that she brought into our lives as she served the Lord so wholeheartedly. Bye for now. Thank you.